Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Uh, I have next to me, this is the CR10. This is the Creality CR10 3D printer. Uh, this was the one that was voted that I had to unbox and put together next to my channel. Uh, and, and here it sits in all of its glory. And next to it are some models that worked, sort of, one that worked and one that uh, is, is a cat catastrophe, cat catastrophe, cat catastrophe, catastrophe. Let's start from the very beginning. I was contacted by Gearbest and asked if I could review the CR10 3D printer. It's a good, it's, it's got good specs. I mean, it's 300 by 300 by 400 on the Z. It's running a, a uh, it's got a Melzi board running Marlin. It's got uh, an MK10, I think, uh, extruder on it. It's, it's it, a Bowden setup. Uh, it runs 1.75 millimeter filament. And uh, people like Preston over at Press Reset and uh, Clayton over at Uncle Jesse, they both uh, love this machine and call it one of the best. In fact, RC Lifon just did a review and he pointed at it excitedly in the thumbnail and said this is probably the best printer for the price. I, with words like that, I, I needed to get that out of the box. And get it out of the box, I did. I've been recently streaming on my Twitch channel twitch.tv slash Joel Telling. That'll get you to my Twitch channel. Uh, so I unboxed this and put it together live on my Twitch channel. It went like this. The box itself was in very good condition. Once I got the box open, the pieces itself were in like a dual stack uh, and it was packed incredibly well in a bunch of foam. Inside uh, was the, the printer and uh, the, the bits, all of this stuff that you could get. And in this box, there is a micro SD card. Here are some screws and connectors, a spool holder, a US power cord, a potato flipper, brackets. These are the T brackets for the Z axis, I think. Printed instructions, a guarantee, a USB cable, a very small amount of filament. This is probably a part for the spool holder. All the tools I could ever need, a spare Bowden tube, and something to clean your ears out with. The printer itself, uh, the, the Z axis, uh, the gantry, whatever you want to call it, this, this riser here wasn't attached. So the bed and the base were in one piece and this was the other piece and then the big control box itself was the third piece. There's these uh, T braces on either side that you can attach and, ooh, and that one's loose. And then underneath there are two screws going into these extrusions to hold it in place. The bed itself is glass and it came pre-taped with this masking tape. It had a bunch of bubbles in it, so of course I just took it off. I put some PVA glue stick for this guy and uh, for these I've been using uh, a trial of magic goo. Once it was out of the box, uh, I used some paper and I leveled the nozzle and then I started my first print. The print looked like this and there's, there's some controversy surrounding this model on the SD card for the CR10. A lot of people say that the cat is corrupt on the SD card. And so when I showed this off, this, this headless kitty, people said, you need to go download the kitty G code from the CR10 Facebook group, which I, I'm a member of, a lot of good people in that group. I thought, no, 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 I don't think so. I don't think it's corrupt because I was looking at the model and other than it's missing its head, everything else on it looks great. So I think what happened is I wasn't leveled properly and the bubbles in the masking tape caused it to fail. So uh, to reduce the chances of another catastrophe, uh, I, I put down some glue stick, I re-leveled the bed and I printed this kitty. And it is darn near perfect. I was using this uh, PLA, batch number 17FE25. Go figure. This is the PLA that's included with the machine and uh, I was told it was crap, but it did produce a near perfect model. From there, I thought I should do what Preston does and print the rocket because uh, rockets are fun prints. I, I printed this in spiral mode, so it's just one perimeter thick the entire way through and it did present a problem. There are these bulges in thin wall areas and especially at the top, it's ribbed. And I, I remembered seeing Preston's video 
where he talked about people thinking it, it was a single lead screw going up on the, uh, that carries this up, but turned out to be uh, the fan. The fan right here blowing on with such high speed would actually flex this plastic as it was printing. However, I did actually print it again. This isn't in the quote unquote crap PLA. This is in some orb polymer PLA that I had laying around and it's better because I printed with no fan. The fan was set to zero. I'm still getting some bulges here in this, these uh, thin walls that go straight up and it still has a slight ribbing, which I'm not sure why that's happening. Of course, I've got that CR10 Facebook group I can post in and I'm sure you guys will leave some comments down below for me to help me troubleshoot. So what's my plan for this printer? Well, it's a large build volume and invariably people are gonna say, is this better than the G-Max? And that's just not a question I can answer at this point. I do need to give this a lot more time. I have thousands of hours on the G-Max. I should do the same thing on this machine. The build area is smaller than the G-Max. Uh, the price is also significantly smaller. I think uh, thanks to GearBest for giving this to me. It's listed on GearBest. I think it's less than 400 US dollars. So right now, Here's my plan for this printer. I'm gonna use it a bunch. I'm gonna print some small things. I'm gonna print some large things. I'm gonna try and figure out the problem with single perimeter prints. Uh, I've got fan and no fan, so I'll, I'll try some other variations to the print to see what's happening. I, I, I plan to print some pieces to put together. I'll, I'll do, uh, I'll do some, a, a few other prints, but uh, there's so many people out there using this machine right now. I'm also going to lean on their expertise and reference prints that they have done in order to complete my review of this. So let's say you've seen all these other reviews and you're like, Joel, I already want this printer. I'm glad you're showing it to me, but you don't need to talk anymore because I'm going to buy it. If you want to buy the printer and you want to support the channel and you want to get it through GearBest, the people that sent it to me, you can go to 3d.pn slash CR10 and that'll take you to GearBest, and uh, I'll put a code down in the description that gets it for a sale price right now. So 3d.pn slash CR10, and that'll get it at GearBest. Uh, I will get a small box of Scooby Snacks as a thanks for uh, referring someone to GearBest. If you don't wanna buy it from GearBest, it's, that's fine with me. There's already so much out there about this printer. Uh, there's not really much more that I can answer in this first impressions video, but my, my first impressions of it are really good. Uh, the glass plate is flat. Uh, it's, uh, it gets up to a decent temperature in a decent amount of time. Uh, I had heard rumors that the plate will only go to 85 degrees C, which is not hot enough to do a reliable ABS print. However, uh, RC Lifon was able to get a very good ABS print out of a CR10 by doing a uh, DIY enclosure to keep the heat in. So I'll, I'll make sure the build plate gets up to temperature. I'll, I'll try some various materials in here. Um, from there, let's just call it good. I'm excited to actually have this out of the box right now and I'm excited to have some use on it because a lot of people have been asking me questions about this printer and I didn't know the answers because I haven't used it myself. Now that I've used it myself and I know how to turn it on, I can start printing some more things and I can give you my honest to goodness, unbiased opinion of this printer. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I, I hope to bring you a lot more of this stuff. I've switched to my, my Makerspace studio and uh, I, I hope to decorate behind me. So it's not just a bunch of pipes and a, an old CME CNC uh, part daddy print. Um, a big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com and a thanks to everybody who lets the ads play. That's a, a giant part of the revenue I can achieve on my channel. Uh, finally, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five. Good night.